there, um, welcome to another D-Link video. Um, I'm Alan and I've got with me today, Mark, our sales manager here. And we're gonna be talking about two different products that we've got in front of us, um, the DWP 1010 and then the DWP 10KT, hmm. which that's the DWP 1010 and together they make the DWP 1010KT. Confused? We'll make it easier for you well, as we we'll, we'll, we'll try and help. So <laughs> essentially the WP1010, this little device here is a 5G outdoor CPE unit. And what it's designed to give is, or what it's designed to do is to give you 5G network access and you can plumb it into any network or any router that you have existing. Yep. And this makes it an ideal solution for a backup internet connection or a primary internet connection for things like offices or remote sites and locations, caravan parks, pop-up shops. The use of the device is, is wide and the benefits of potentially having a 5G uh, backup or backup connection it, it is priceless, especially in today's world where we need to have some sort of uh, a backup connection. I think the, um, the, the important part that Mark was talking about there is the outdoor part. Um, we, we, we've, it's easily demonstratable that 5G is so much better outdoors. Yes, correct, like, correct. Like, run a speed test on your phone in your garden and then go and do the same speed test in your house and the, the, the difference will definitely be um, very noticeable. So the best thing to do is if you, if you don't have this, the fastest 5G speed in your home, just run a speed test. Remember to turn the Wi-Fi off because you don't want to test the speed of your Wi-Fi. Just run a speed test on your phone, on your SIM card, see what sort of speed you get and then go and do the same thing outside. And if the, if the difference is very noticeable, then an outdoor CPE would be absolutely perfect for you because it will use the antennas to, to pick up the signal and then um, connect via the port to your router. To router. Or... And then giving you that 5G speed. So the DWP 1010 has an IP67 weatherproof casing, meaning it will survive all weather types out there. You simply mount it on the side of a building using the nice mounting clips. You pop your site 5G SIM card in it and it will suck in all that 5G signals and everything else and give you a very fast connection to the internet. Yeah, best part about that as well is that um, it's powered by PoE injector. Yes. Um, so it doesn't need to be that near to a, a, a plug socket. Um, so it, if you are gonna mount it up as Mark said, the, the thing about 5G is that it's best when it's got line of sight to a transmission tower. And so obviously the higher you can go up, the less interference around, um, you know, the less number of buildings that are in the way, the signal will be better. Yeah, the clearer or, yeah. clearer or cleaner the signal should so be. So the, the, the PoE injector gives you a better, um, a better range of places that you can, you, you, you can put the device rather than having to worry about it being near to a plug socket. So um, they thought about everything when they, when they pulled together this unit, so all good. <laughs> there, with the DWP 1010, there will be a wireless version coming uh, very shortly. Yes. So what this will have is essentially, it will be the same product, it will look the same, it will have the same uh, sort of aesthetics to it, but this will have a Wi-Fi uh, wi chipset or a chip in it. Yeah. And essentially, it will, you put your 5G SIM card in and then you'll be able to connect other devices uh, mobile phones, tablets, laptops, all that sort of stuff to the device directly, mm. making it ideal, again, for out, outdoor spaces. So think of pub gardens, think mm. of things like caravans and all that sort of stuff. Just a simple, very easy to use solution about giving 5G access or internet access on the go. Yeah, so as, as this version doesn't have wireless built in, um, let's move on to the differences between the DWP 1010 and the DWP 1010 KT. And the KT in this instance stands for kit. So not too, no, nothing, nothing technical there. Um, but what that basically means is that we give you the outdoor antenna and you get one of our M15 AX1500 routers. So basically this device goes on the outside. So if you're doing it on a caravan or in your, in, in your building, perfect for, um, perfect for something like a, a mobile home or a caravan. That will go on the outside of your property and this will go on the inside and you will run an ethernet cable out of the back of one of the gigabit ports 
on the back of the unit straight into this unit to, and this will distribute the Wi-Fi signal. Wi-Fi internally, get, so your, you can connect your devices your to it yeah. or, to, or to your location. The question is, Alan, though, is where can we buy this? Is it out now? You want to buy one, Mark? You, well, can, you can buy one if you like. I've got one <laughs> sitting in my house. <laughs> so this is available um, uh, all, all, all normal e-tailers. So... Um, uh, Amazon, um, Coms Express, Broadband Buyer, all, all, all the guys out there where you'd expect to see um, D-Link kit. Um, and um, I think the, the ODU on its own is priced around about £370. We'll see, it will vary across the internet. And then we'll have the kit, which is available about £399. So just an extra £30 for the kit with the router included um, um, for, for, for the easy management. Um, and um, they're, they're available. They're available probably now. Yeah, they're out now. They're available to buy. They're available to purchase. If there's any questions on the devices, on the outdoor kit, or yeah. if you want to find out what is best for you, myself and the rest of the sales team uh, are more than happy to get involved. We're happy to answer your questions. Yeah. And even potentially show you the devices. Um, and what we mean by that is give you a, a quick demo of the device and to answer any of the questions that you have. Um, thanks for tuning in and um, we'll see you again next time. Bye now. Bye.